All right, I'll be walking through um, using ABS slurry for bed adhesion. Anyways, this is my ABS here. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but as you can see, it's separated a little bit. So first thing you want to do is give it a swirl. If your jar is more full, you want to use a stir stick instead because when the ABS gets in the threads, it really sucks. So, <clears throat> going back, uh, how to make ABS slurry. As you can see, this is pretty thin. Um, so, when adding ABS, you do not want it too thick. When it gets really thick, it'll dry out as you're applying it and just generally be lumpy and it'll make a mess. So, what you want is just enough ABS to make the... Here, hold this up against the light. Just enough to make it opaque so the light doesn't shine through. But, um, yeah, you still want it thin. Alright, so now that I've stirred this, I'm going to go ahead and take a half a sheet of paper towel. Doing this one-handed, so this may be a little bit difficult. I'm going to just fold it like this. Hold my phone here for a sec. Here, I just got to set this down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper towel. Stick it in my jar, if I can get it in there with one hand. This is difficult. Anyways. Stick it in here, just dip the corner, just like that, that's more than enough, that's actually too much. Anyways, so, now I'm going to go ahead and take it, ooh, one-handed, it's shifting. I'm just going to do this number. Let me try to hold my phone like this. That didn't work. Alright, what I'm doing right now is just uh, doing the wiping down the whole board, or build plate in circles, basically making large circular motions because I don't want really uh, the ABS slurry piling up anywhere. Just want it more or less even. Anyways, this is good enough. As you can see, still plenty on here, not really going to use it. Anyways, this is enough ABS for probably like five or six prints. Maybe a bit more since I applied it a bit heavy. But as you can see, it's got a nice, it's got a little bit of tinge to it from the color of the ABS slurry I used. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and dry this out real quick, and I'll show you how to refresh between builds, or prints. So I'm going to take another half sheet, and take my container of acetone, and this is all I'm going to do between prints. Let's give it a nice wipe. Nice, even wipe. I don't want to press hard or anything because I don't want to actually remove too much ABS. I just want to remove a small amount and basically just spread it out. As you can see, it'll get a little bit cloudy in some spots. That's generally okay. When your whole, whole build plate gets cloudy, that's when you know it's time to reapply. Generally, I'll get like, I don't know, between like four to seven uh, prints out of a single application of ABS, sorry. And it actually works better towards like the fourth or fifth uh, print. <clears throat> but, well, that's pretty much all there is to it.